In this experiment, we've measured the size of bacteria populations in luminescence units as a function of time in the presence of three different concentrations of bacterial surface cleaners. And in this particular analysis, we want to see if there is a difference between concentrations C2 and C3 over this central growth period and we want to see if there is a significant difference in the two slopes for C2 and C3. And for that we'll enter the data into Minitab. In the data column we have the bacterial population expressed in luminescence units as a function of time for the two concentrations of cleaner C3 and C2. And we wish to use this data to illustrate the difference between using the general regression model as compared to just performing a simple linear regression. So we will start with a general regression approach by going to stats, regression, regression and fit the regression model. The response is the data and we have the continuous predictor of time and the categorical predictor of the concentration of the cleaners. And we click on model and we see time and concentration in the model but we want to see a possible interaction between time and concentration. So we will highlight these two terms which enables us to add a cross predictor or an interaction term add. We can see we've also got a time times time model which we don't need so we will delete that. So we have time concentration and time times concentration for the interaction. OK and we will run the analysis. The results appear in the session window and we can see that the analysis of variance has given us the significance values for the time, the concentration and the interaction. And we can see that time is indeed very significant with a close to zero p-value. Uh, this is to be expected because we do know that the data values were increasing with time. There does not seem to be a significant difference between the average concentrations. But what is important here is that we see the interaction term time times concentration is also significant with a p-value of 0 0.015. This means that the effect of time, which is shown by the slope of the graph, is dependent on the concentration of the cleaner. So this means there is a difference between the two slopes dependent on the concentration. If we now return to our data, this analysis was carried out using the variables time data and the categorical variable concentration. If we now wish to do a simple numerical regression, we first have to express the concentration as a numeric variable. So we introduce the new term concentration n and give values 1 and 2 for the two cleaners. And we would also have to introduce a term to show the interaction between the time and the concentration. And this we can do by inter introducing the term interact, which is then a simple multiplication of the time value times the concentration value. 60 times 1 is 60, or 65 times 2 is 130. Now using these numeric variables, we can return to stat regression and we will fit a new regression model. Again we have the data. We also have the numerical value of time but instead of the categorical predictor for concentration we will use the numeric concentration n and we will also introduce the interaction. We will check the model and we have these three simple numerical terms in the data. We can say OK and we can run the analysis. If we now look at the relevant ANOVAR table, we can see 
that we, we obtain the same results. The time is again highly significant with a p-value near to zero and the interaction term which we've introduced through our new variable interact is again significant with a p-value of 0 0.015 exactly as before.